Hi guys, welcome to the video and welcome to Goodwood Best for the City. wanted to come to Goodwood. For years I've been watching the live streams, Instagram posts, everything. And as for the Mrs. Birthday surprise we decided to come to Southampton, I thought why not incorporate this Festival of Speed and this is the first opportunity we've ever come down. So we don't know where we're going today, what we're doing, so we're just taking it as it comes and we're hoping to see as many supercars as possible. Paddock to see what's around and this is the fifth Moroccan car plant we've seen today parked next to four rubbers. The car park's pretty good but we know a 918 is turning up later so we're going to have a look back. It's currently around 8.45 in the morning so I don't blame them for not being here already. See all the YouTubers' cars lined up. You already know they want a Corsa there. Maybe next year. That was so cool seeing the Range Rover on two wheels. That's how the missus thinks I drive. <laughs> Being here is so mad. I've seen it so many times on the live stream, all over social media, and to actually be here is amazing. And it's so surreal to be here and see the things that I've just seen online for so long. So we're coming up the top of the hill now. I don't think she realised it was a hill climb event. <laughs> more of our lost adventures, we're coming further up the hill and we're coming up to the rally stage and just up to the finish line. There's so much going on here that I don't even know if we're going to cover it in one day. The weather is so nice today, it's decided about 22, 23 degrees and we're just positioned up at the hill climb, waiting for some cars to come down and just kind of spying out the area, seeing how it is because we've never been here before. And I really don't know where we're around. We've already got lost in the woods once. There's been a slight crash, so we're going to walk back down the hill and see if we can find anywhere with a screen so that we know what's coming, because up there it was really, really difficult. There was no indication that any of the cars were coming, so it's hard to know when to film them and that. So if you went past, so we're going to see if we can stand anywhere near a screen now so that we can see what's coming down. Turn in on the power, let the car run out to the edge. really good spot just up there but it's really difficult to record because it's just so noisy with the speakers blaring out the commentary so the next cars up are the supercars which I'm really really looking forward to we're gonna get back into position and I'll give the camera to the missus so she can record those while I take photos such Wonderful track 
grabbing some shade because it is boiling today. On the way here it was raining and we're really really doubting the weather but luckily it's pulled through and it's probably about 22 23 degrees now but because I'm not knowing what the weather would be like we're wearing black jeans and we brought jumpers with us and coats so it's not too good. It's great to see some cars that are coming out soon and I can't wait to see actually on the roads probably in London or around. What I'm really surprised about is Bugatti. Their Chiron looked amazing but They've brought two to this event. They're both customers' cars. They haven't brought any demonstration of cars. We've seen one of the demonstrations, so we've actually seen three Chirons overall, and that was actually in HRO and Bugatti, so I don't know why they haven't brought that today. It means that they're actually bringing customers' cars up the hills, which is cool, but it's putting the miles in their cars, which I'm really surprised that they're doing. We don't have the videos are turning out from this event. I hope they're all right, because I've actually only got one battery, currently on 71%, and it's only about 11 o'clock. And um, we've still got to go until 7. So I hope they're alright, but we're going to catch the other supercar in later. We're going to potentially go up to the top of the hill, because we're a bit further down where the screen was. Because we know all the cars now come really compact together, and we know the, roughly the order that they're going to come down in. And there's far less people at the top of the hill. At, down the bottom where we are now, it's absolutely packed. There's so many people, as you would have seen by the last few clips. We'll eat some lunch, and I'll catch you in a bit. <laughs> The main question is, what would you have? Broken Performante or Aventador S? After seeing these specs, it's so hard to decide. But personally, I'd have the Performante, but the missus would have the Aventador S. Silverstone as fast as an LMP1 car. So it's going to be insane when it's on the road. I don't understand how it's become road legal. But it is so rammed, it was definitely worth waking up at 5 in the morning to come down here for 7 to see all the cars. 20 minutes and 7 seconds. 
Come and see and have video. achieved 212 more tags. Taking revenge for his defeat last year, the winner is Paul Morris! Yes. So as you just saw, we were just up at the Michelin Supercar Paddock and we just saw the results of Sam and Paul's challenge. Huge congratulations to Paul who gets to drive the Aguera up the hill later. We'll make sure that we catch that run later on, we'll go up to the top of the hill. We've already planned an area that we're going to stand which hopefully will be out of the crowds more. So we're back up where we started now by Bugatti and all the cars have been put in handling mode, all six Veyrons and there's also one a bit further up. So that's seven Veyrons here along with two Chirons. It's a mad event I can't wait to see the Chiron back on the track later. across this field full of Ferrari 250s, literally full of them, and it's probably worth more than my life. That was pretty random, also pretty cool, but the heat is definitely getting to us. The missus is properly burnt up, so we're gonna try and stay out the heat and I'll get some cinematics and some more cars before we head up the hill to watch the supercars. In the supercar parking there is now a 918 and a LaFerrari which we need to go check out at some point but it's so hot that we've been trying to keep in the shade. So I'm just walking up to the supercar paddock and it's completely different from earlier. There's now loads of cars here so I'm going to show you around. I already see a 918 so let's see what else is about. see the car park has definitely livened up since we came here earlier and it's pretty special to see a LaFerrari with a 918 parked in front of it with another 918 in the car park as well. This is the second time I've seen this particular McLaren SLR and the first time I saw it the MSO plate actually had me and I thought what's it doing on the car but this is actually one of 25 McLaren SLR conversions by MSO. It's a beautiful spec and amazing to see such a rare car on the road. <laughs> So we made it up the hill finally, and we went the wrong way and there were missing cart that would take us up the hill. But we're finally up here and I hope that we'll get the best shots that we can for the day. down the hill now to catch up with some other supercars that are around. We're at the last hour of the event and it's been really good fun for the day. But it's been super hot, we're both stupid burnt. It's been really, really enjoyable and I'll definitely come here again.
don't do cheesy chips, but some legend made them for us. So hopefully that will refuel us back to Southampton. So the event's nearing a close now, and we're walking out past the supercar paddock. The event's been amazing. It's so much better than I expected it to be, and so much bigger than I expected it to be. We've probably only covered about a third, two thirds of the event today. So we've agreed that next time we come, we'll have to go for a bit longer, maybe two days, possibly the full four days that it's on. So today's been so hot and draining because we've come in prepared. We didn't bring suntan lotion, we didn't bring hats, we didn't bring anything, so I'm burnt in the face. The missus is burnt all over. <laughs> So that marks the end of our day at Goodwood Festival of Speed. It's been so much fun and we've seen cars that we would never ever have dreamt to see and we've seen billions of pounds worth of cars today. It's been so good. During the day I think we got a much better understanding of where we needed to go, where we need to be for certain events. So the next time that we come we'll have a much better idea so the video will be so much better. So I've got loads of photos today that will all be up on my Instagram. Make sure to follow me at tomh.p for more Goodwood content. Also make sure to subscribe if you're new because there'll be plenty more Goodwood content, not just this video, because I can't fit every clip into this one video because it's just so long and we recorded so much today. So if you like the video, like the video, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.